Alright guys, and welcome to another FIFA Predicts with your 2012 DLC. This time I'm doing France versus England, and yeah, uh, my home country, if you did not know, I am English, so yeah, pretty pretty impressive, and it's going to be played in the Municipal Stadium in Poznan, which is Poland, obviously, because Manchester City played like Poznan, and then obviously they got the, let's all do the Poznan dance from there, which is, you know, a bit of a random fight, but it's probably a well-known random fight anyway. So yeah, um... My opinions on the game, my opinion, my prediction of the actual game and the group. So I think this game will finish. I'm going to say 3 1 France. Because I think France will. I, uh, I, I'm pretty sure France will win it, um, in my eyes. England have got a good team, but France, you know, have got a, <laughs> probably an even better team. A great manager in Laurent Blanc. And yeah, I mean, like they've got players like Benzema, Nazare, um, Mandanda in goal who doesn't even play so I don't even know why I said that because Loris plays in goal <laughs> so yeah um, and Patrice have really left back so um, uh, yeah I'm, I'm going to stick with 3-1 France and I don't actually think England will qualify out of the group because uh, although to be fair I did think that in the World Cup you know whenever it, when the sunlight brandished the headline easy when the group stage was drawn I was like no it's it's not that easy don't you know look at the look at it like that because Algeria pretty decent Slovenia I think we played were also pretty decent and so was the Americans but hopefully they'll prove me wrong again and actually get out of the group stage like they did in the World Cup so yeah as you can see in the actual gameplay went into half time and France were leading 1-0 through a Sami Nazari goal so yeah I mean um, another reason why I don't think England are going to do that well in these European Championships is because of all the controversy surrounding them. I mean, they've even got now Jack Wilshire, a strong rumour going around that he's been doing cocaine. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's all a bit all over the place. I mean, obviously, some things you can't help, like obviously what's happened with Jermaine Defoe and, and like Wayne Moon is not going to be there for the first two games. And I don't think Wayne Moon is a good player for England anyway. I think he's overrated as it is, but... I mean, that's just down to personal opinions. I mean, some people think Wayne Moon is one of the best in the world. I can, I can totally understand that, but for England, he definitely is overrated. And so, yeah, I mean, and then and then the squad selection. Like, I, I don't really understand why Grant Holt's not gone or Peter Crouch has, hasn't gone when, when he takes Andy Carroll. I, I don't really get that either. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, again, that's down to opinions, though. I mean, Roy Hodgson clearly thinks that Andy Carroll will be better suited for the England team rather than those two other players. So, yeah, um... I'm going to wrap this episode up right now, guys, because, like I said, I, I do think, as you can see, my prediction is 3-1 to France, and, yeah, I mean, I don't think Scott Parker will get the England goal like he did in this gameplay, so, yeah, that, that was a bit that was a bit odd. When I saw him score, I thought, Scott Parker? Really? He's not really a goal-scoring midfielder, is it? You know, he's a defensive midfielder. He's, he's really good at what he does as well, so, yeah, um, as always, let me know what you guys think uh, will happen in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like either if you have enjoyed this episode because there will be another one coming out very, very shortly, probably today as well, um, for the other group game, which is Ukraine vs Sweden. So, yeah, um, like I've just said, leave a comment in the comment section below saying whether you've watched the game and enjoyed it or not enjoyed it or what the score was or if it's not, if the game hasn't been played yet, let me know what you think the game is going to be, like uh, what the score is going to be and possibly who scores it. So, yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will be back very, very, very shortly with Ukraine versus Sweden. So, yeah, anyway, guys, see you later. Peace out.